This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. The Honolulu African American Film Festival presents films each February that help to eliminate this imbalance. The Honolulu African American Film Festival takes place every February at the Doris Duke Theater at the Honolulu Museum of Art, Honolulu's only art house theater and premier platform for independent and international film in Hawaii. Our mission is to celebrate African American cinema and the African cultural diaspora. The Honolulu African American Film Festival provides a platform for black filmmakers, screenwriters, and actors to present their art. Emerging talents and established artists are able to contribute to the cinematic legacy of Africans Americans. I'm your host, Sharon Thomas Yarbrough. Welcome and thank you for joining Sister Power. Our topic for this episode, 7th Annual Honolulu African American Film Festival, celebrating black cinema throughout the year. Today, we will discuss the film festival with committee member, Sister Par VIP guest, David Goldberg, and we have John Nichols on the phone with us as well. Welcome, David. Thank you so much for having me on the show, Sharon. Thank you for coming. We're excited because this is our 7th Annual African American Film Festival. And another thing that's a first for Sister Power, you're our first man to appear, you and John. For real? Talk. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm extra honored, especially in these days. <laughs> you know what I mean? Given where the climate is, I'm honored to uh, be included. And again, I appreciate you uh, inviting me and, and John to come here and talk about what's going on this year with the festival. Thank you, John. Is there something you would like to say to us and aloha yeah, to our well, people? Aloha. We are so happy that we've had such success and what a success it has been. And the public has really responded to these crossover films. And we'd love to invite people to come out on Saturday, the 3rd of February, um, to enjoy once again another opening reception. And thank you so much for having us on at this time, Sharon. Oh, you're welcome. We're excited. And so our film festival is from February 3rd until February the 10th. And we're going to d dig right into our festival. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited about opening night, which is next Saturday, February the 3rd. And the film is The Gospel According to Andre. And let's talk a little bit about Andre Talley. Uh, he's a fashion uh, forward Icon. person from uh, he is an icon yep. take it from there well, i mean <laughs> i have to say i mean th this is actually my first year on the committee um after getting involved in bringing um a short experimental documentary to the festival that got squeezed in last year so i'm actually getting up to speed in a lot of great ways in terms of um paying attention to these films because my my area i'm coming from is from media studies it's a little further out on the fringes and where people are making stuff up as they go along. So for me, I'm excited about this festival because some of these films I haven't seen myself, you know, and I'm, what I'm really into is the, the diversity that's coming through in this year's program in the sense that on one hand you have a culturally focused festival, but in a place as diverse and multicultural as Hawaii, the films that we've selected this year actually speak to everybody in the state, you know, so I'm really psyched about that. So the idea that we that we start the festival off with, you know, this discussion of fashion, right, knowing full well that we're committed to Fashion Week here, we're committed to investing in our local creatives, and there's probably most of the people that are concerned with fashion and style know who Andre is, right? Absolutely. So for, for, this, for, for us to make this debut and really cross those cultures, you know, which, which brings gay, straight, men, women, you know, fashion, style, I mean, all of this is coming together, and that's the spirit that I think all of the films are coming from this year. Well, what I like about this, that John, that you're on board, John Nichols um, was our brain, the brainchild for this committee, and we're so happy that he's able to join us. And John, give us your take on um, our seven years of the Honolulu African American Film Festival. Well, thank you, Sharon. I was a co-founder, and I'm very happy that out of a discussion, actually, with Faye Kennedy, that the film festival became a reality. And uh, we're kind of on the top of the food chain in some ways, in that 
we have such diversity and um, we have such a, a multicultural uh, atmosphere here. And the high end is interested in diversity, even if it's on a trending nominal basis. You'll find that these films are, on the one hand, um, really on the cutting edge, if you will. You know, you have a fashion icon. You also have an abstract artist whose name has been um, synonymous with uh, the high end art world lately. That's Basquiat, and um, it's it's really neat to be able to even have him on the cover this year. And I I was just back from the Miami Basel, where he mm. was. Um, front and center in a lot of different discussions that I was a, a part of with curators, to be exact. Um, but I'm really glad that, you know, everybody will come out in their high fashion best, and that's the key. Um, it is a fashion statement, and it'll be glamorous, very stylistic, if you will. And um, so get dressed up for next Saturday, for sure. Absolutely. Uh, it starts at 6.30 p.m., and the film, the actual opening night starts at 6.30 p.m. But before we start talking about the other films, mm -hmm. David, we should thank our committee. Because if it wasn't for Taylor Chang Absolutely. and Sarah and Manette yes. um, at, the yes. Hon at Doris Duke Theater, the Honolulu Museum, this would not take place. And also, exactly. yeah, absolutely. Also, let's talk about our members. So we have Daphne Barbie Wooten. Mm -hmm. We have Akimi Glenn is a new member, new member. just like yep. the both just like of me. Yep. Yeah, yes. both of you came on board. And we have Marsha McFadden and John Nicholas, you're on the phone, Tadia Rice, Sandra Sims, and of course myself, I'm on the committee as well. So I'm excited and we want to send a shout out to all our members and thank the um, Honolulu Museum of Art. And let's move forward and talk about what's next. We have our opening night, mm -hmm. which is Saturday night, and we're, it's going to be a, an extravaganza. So we're inviting everyone to come out. And then we have, and that's going to be shown twice. I think it's going to be shown. Um, yeah, well, most of the films are going to be shown um, more than once. So if you miss, I mean, of course, you don't want to miss the opening night. No. That's where everybody comes out, and that's where you get that energy of everyone that's celebrating the, you know, the opening night of the festival. Um, but most of these films are going to screen at least twice. Yes. Um, so that includes right. um, the the Andre film, you know, the the Basquiat documentary. Um, what's the other one? Mud Mudbound. Mudbound. And, uh, yeah, yeah, um, Mudbound. Let's hold it there for a second, right? Because that's <laughs> that's exciting. We have Mary J. Blige, who is up yeah. for an. an a nomination, right, for, yeah, am I correct? Yeah, supporting actress, right? I think I think she's she's got that uh, best supporting actress. Best supporting nomination. actress. I'm so proud of the sister to come. She's excellent songwriter, musician. Yeah, um, and continuing over. that tradition of, of crossing over out of other areas of entertainment um, into film, which is also a great marker, you know, of progress and opportunity for a lot of our artists that are you know getting out of the the narrow ranges and taking advantage of um, you know how a lot of our artists are operating at higher levels, you know, than ever before. You know, so it's great to see that that happening, which I think is really the spirit, you know, of the festival. Well, can I talk about the whole like the scope we, we across the year? We can talk about the scope cuz we mean, have because, a track, we have a trailer to show as right, well. Right, right, so I mean, sure I, I right. I mean, I think, you know, in this in this first bit, I think it's important for people to know that one of the departures from the usual festival formula that we're doing is looking at spreading out this appreciation of black cinema, black visual culture across the year. Right, so it's not just February that we're doing this, but we're also looking at having a program in June or July, which celebrates the idea of Juneteenth, yes. which is a African yes. African American historical marker that has to do with the fact that when the Civil War ended and emancipation was declared, it didn't travel instantly because we didn't have the internet back then. You couldn't just hop on Twitter <laughs> and say, "Oh, we free," right? So it took some time for that message to travel. <laughs> from, say, Atlanta to, you know, the panhandle of Texas, sure. right? So there was a wave of awareness, and so no one could really decide which day we became free. So therefore, Juneteenth, right? It's June-ish. Juneteenth. Right? Juneteenth, June-ish. Um, so we're actually going to be doing some programming during June, and then um, folks might not know that August um, is a budding month that we're looking for at Black Futures. Um, so we're trying to tap into stuff that Akimi is doing in terms of the Popolo project here, and also the, the global effort to look at blackness in the Pacific, 
um, to look at Afrofuturism, to look at the, the sort of future of black culture as we move forward. So we're really looking at how to spread this festival out over the course of the entire year, um, because 28 days is, you know, never enough to celebrate it all. Um, and, we, and we hope that it'll become a model um, that, that takes off here in Hawaii to recognize that we can look at our individual cultures and, our, and the history that we bring, but why do we have to confine them to like one space when really the point is that we should be constantly celebrating each other's culture, each other's cuisine, each other's presence, each other's cinema, right? So the, I think the African American Film Festival is trying to take that lead and say that, you know, we can break out of the... We have a rich history, yeah, so this is just do. phase one. And so does everybody else. So I, you you know, my vision is to see everybody's stuff braiding together. Yeah, yeah. You know I what like I mean? That. So over the course of 365 days, you actually get this diversity um, and this change and this rich texture of what people have to offer all the way, all the way year round. Well, let's show a trailer on the Honolulu African American Film Festival. We have a quick trailer that we would like to show our um, audience so they can just get a sneak peek of what's coming up next. Isn't that wonderful? We got to talk about Anita, right? We've got to talk about how, how Anita not, how Hill. Not, how not talk Let's about Anita. talk about Anita Hill. It's so present, what she experienced, what was it, 20 years ago? Or I think so. 20 yeah. some years ago, yeah. and we're dealing with the Me Too movement right yep. now. Let's talk about that film, Anita Hill. John, you want to jump in on that before we um? Yeah, you know, we roll forward? Um, I just want to say that we, in the past, we partnered with the Jewish Film Festival, and this year they're going to do the Sammy Davis uh, a documentary, which is kind of a crossover again. But I, I do like the idea of the community uh, outreach and being able to um, to cross pollinate, if you will. Mm -hmm. So Anita so, Hill, Anita, and I mean, Clarence Thomas. She was like the OG, right? Yes. I mean, here's a woman who you know historically you know has to go before this grueling committee. Fourteen white men, yep. and she was gracious yep. and intellectual. And spoke her truth. Yep. And and here we had. I mean, it, I mean, you know, I was. I think I was. was I still in high school twenty oh, years ago. Rub it in. What do you mean? Were you in? Okay. I, you know. So I mean, I have to admit <laughs> that you know Anita's story. I was. I was kind of at the dawn of my political awareness, sure. right? So I have to admit that you know what she went through. I didn't really come to appreciate or understand until much later, right? And I think that there's a lot of folks that don't really recognize um, the pioneering effort that she put forth just by going through it, right? And when you think about the bind that she was put in, where you have Clarence Thomas as the first black Supreme Court justice, and we're supposed to make that decision of like, well, who do we throw under the bus? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, do you throw the black mm -hmm. woman under the bus? Do we throw the black man under the bus? Do we do the judge? Do we do the judge? Right, you know, how, how are we gonna work this out? And I think that um, the, the fact that her knowledge kind of went underground, and it, it's something that people in schools and the academies sustain, but her story kind of faded from mainstream memory, right? So yeah. for us to show her story again, to recognize how long this problem's going on, I mean, it's like, it's not really a surprise, right? No. I mean, sexual harassment, you know, the hierarchy over women, I mean, it's, it's in the DNA of this country, right? Yeah. You know, but, but her story is really remarkable because once again, you have this situation where it's an African-American person that's at this crossroad, and it's not often until decades later that we look back and we realize, oh, y'all were like the canary in the coal mine on that one. <laughs> so here we are again, you know, trying to present this opportunity, you know, for people to understand how long this struggle has been going on. And also to see this film, to understand, like you were just saying, what grace, what humility, but what inner strength and commitment really looks like, you know, because we're still dealing with these repercussions. So, you know, we're, we're really trying to figure out the best way to make the African American visual and cinematic experience relevant to everyone, um, and demonstrate what, that. What day, David, will the panel discussion be on the Anita Hill film? Oh, on the Anita Hill film, that will be Sunday. There will be a panel discussion. Oh, the panel discussion. On yes, it's on yes. Uh, Sunday, February the fourth at four p.m. And I'm glad you did oh, bring great. that up, John. We we do have a panel, 
and that will um, discuss this amazing, amazing woman. Um, is directed by Academy Award-winning filmmaker Frida Mock, and the film is both a celebration of Anita Hill's legacy. Mm -hmm. And for the people who need to catch up, like, you, you know, you were in high school, now that um, she did have to speak up, tell the people a little bit about what happened to Anita Hill back then. John? <laughs> John? <laughs> okay, well. It was, it was, it was, uh, I believe it was a moment in history that um, was a watershed moment, and the Me Too movement right now is, it's, it's really nice to see how it is. The momentum is continuing with the Me Too movement, and I'm really delighted that we're able to um, be on the forefront again as it relates to bringing relevant issues to the forefront. And uh, this is certainly one that should uh, garner a lot of attention, and I'm really excited about attending as well. I mean, she was effectively put on trial. I mean, that, that's yeah, the audience look at is, yeah, you know, she, she was put on trial um, as the victim, you know, which, which shows you the, the, the core imbalance of how our system looks at these issues, right? Well, the entire country was transfixed um, when she was telling her truth her story, and I just so admire her, and I'm so glad we're able to show Anita Hill's documentary at the Honolulu African American Film Festival. Agreed. All right. I'm well, let's it. just you know move <laughs> I'm sorry, John? No, truly, I, you know, um, I was on a panel in Philadelphia this past summer where she was one of the, I was non, not on the panel with her, but I was with a um, very powerful, uh, physician, female physicians, and one of them was a Vivian Penn, who they named a couple universities after, medical schools after, and she was um, on that panel with Anita, and it was just really neat to see that Anita is getting a lot more attention in different um, um, regions as well as in different genres of our culture as well. Well, good. Well, this film, she will be uh, on the documentary discussing, you know, her truths, and she'll be openly talking about it. So I'm so very, very excited about uh, showing this film. And we can move on, because I could just talk about Anita Hill on and on and on. <laughs> I'm so excited. What I am so excited about, uh, that we are going to come back. And we're going to pick up, David, where we left off, okay. and we're going to continue to talk about the 7th Annual African American Film Festival. Very good. All right. I'm going to the game and it's gonna be great. Early arriving for a little tailgate. I usually drink but won't be drinking today cause I'm the designated driver and that's okay. It's nice to be the guy that keeps his friends in line. Keeps them from drinking too much so we can have a great time. A little responsibility can go a long way cause it's all about having fun on game day. I'm the guy you wanna be. I'm the guy saving money. I'm the guy with the H2O and I'm the guy that says let's go. Aloha, my name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea comes on every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join us. I like to bring in guests that talk about all types of things that come across the sea to Hawaii. Not just law, love, people, ideas, history. Please join us for Law Across the Sea. Aloha. Welcome back to Sister Power, and we are discussing the seventh annual Honolulu African American Film Festival here with my special guest, David Goldberg. Thank you so much. All right, this is exciting. So this is our seventh year, and we are holding yeah. it at the Door Stoop Theater. Mm -hmm. And please come and purchase your tickets at the Honolulu Museum of Art. Yep. And it starts um, February 3rd through the 10th. And so we were discussing the various films, and so let's talk about we, we covered opening night mm -hmm. with the, the gospel according to oh, Andre. No, Andre. Yep. Let's talk uh -huh. about Boom. So this is a documentary um, by Sarah Driver who looks at uh, the early life of Jean-Michel Basquiat. 
Um, and as John was saying in the first part, I mean, Basquiat is, is an African-American artist of Haitian-American descent who um, single-handedly kind of transformed the contemporary art world. Um, he came to a tragic and early end um, due to heroin addiction, but it's a very complicated story because he um, engaged street art, the gallery system, Andy Warhol, um, the, the major collector museums. You know, there have been several films, both documentary and dramatic, that are made about him. And you may have seen that Jeffrey Wright, Jeffrey Wright played him um, yes. in his biopic. So, I mean, yeah. Basquiat is a significant, significant figure um, in the art world. People are still writing books about him to this day. They go back to his paintings and they discover new hidden messages in them, you know, because he integrated music and history, um, African spiritual systems. I mean, he's a, this young man was, was, was brilliant. Um, right. And this is a special film because it's the first look at his early life sort of before he got famous. Well, we have an art, the artist, John Nichols, on the phone, one of the committee members. And John, give us your take on this film, Boom, For Real, The Late Teenage Years. You know, it's interesting, as a committee member, uh, we all have an opportunity to screen these films in advance. And I can tell you, you're not going to want to miss this one, especially if you appreciate abstract art, expressionism. Um, I happen to, a little vignette, I, was in, I did two shows in Paris in the early 90s. And Basquiat had just passed away, and his work was in Paris. It was a huge retrospective, and I recalled going in and seeing phenomenal large format pieces that were just really uh, awe-inspiring. And to see his productivity at that age and to see how he uh, would bring into his art things that he would experience in the city. Um, and he was in Soho, I would imagine. Soho had... Uh, its own, how does one say it, uh, uh, layers of, of uh, sophistication. And um, I had been in the Bronx, I was a graduate of Syracuse University, and several of my roommates who were New York artists and residents of the Bronx as well as Manhattan, we all uh, respect and appreciate seeing someone who can go from the primary market to the secondary market to the tertiary market. And by that, I mean Basquiat is now being sold through galleries and museums, and his works are now being collected throughout the world. So that's um, it's really quite a, a, a wonderful uh, opportunity to see a, a young person who um, really expressed himself in a beautiful way get that type of recognition. Oh, and, wonderful. Um, so we want to let the audience know, John, boom for real. Well, uh, when it's going to air, uh, when it's going to be shown at the Honolulu Museum, Sunday, February the 4th yep. at 1 p.m., and it's going to be screened again at 7.30 p.m. Also, it's going to be Wednesday, February the 7th at 1 p.m. And again, before we uh, discuss further, we're going to show a quick trailer mm -hmm. uh, of the Honolulu African American Film Festival so everyone can see the excitement that we're going to display. I'm hoping. I'm excited. I mean, we, we have so Indeed. much information for folks, so you have to forgive us if things come at you at a slightly um, out of order. But obviously, you can go to the website, homelulumuseum.org, to get everything um, you need to know. But there's some other stuff we want to definitely point out. And one of that is that we have um, a special green room event on February the 10th at 7 with the U.S. Poet Laureate Tracy K. Smith. And, you know, if you're familiar with the way we do the festival, we always try to bring out a special guest and offer our members, uh, the museum members, something special, they can spend some time with people. Um, and, and these are folks that are true movers and shakers and innovators. So in this case, we're looking at having Tracy K. Smith here um, to, to for the Green Room special. So don't miss that. Don't, definitely don't miss that. And we also have a Facebook True. page, Honolulu African American Film Festival. Go to our Facebook page. You can find all the information um, that we've covered today. And it's just an exciting time for us. As I said, seventh annual, the number seven. Yep, number seven. That's a, a mystery. Number. It yep. is a good number. <laughs> 
So it's from February 3rd to the 10th, and we have John Nichols, the artist on the phone, one of the co-founders of the film festival. And John, you want to add a little bit about Tracy Smith? Um, I'm looking forward to hearing her, and uh, I'm really delighted that we were able to cross over once again and bring her in through the green room because it is a February event and it really paired rather nicely with our um, our offerings as well. So it's it's a real seamless um, um, momentum that we have continued to expand upon. So I'm really looking forward to hearing what she has to say as well. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Great. And that is again Saturday. It's February not, 10th. February yep. the 10th. And what time is that again? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Yep. Get your tickets. And we want the people to know that every year we sell out. This is a That's sold right. out yeah. right. event. Right. So get your tickets early. Do not wait. We've had some. You know, it's cheaper for members. I mean, there's always something at the door, but um, definitely if you're a member of the museum, you know, you get that discount. Um, I think you can buy online, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I'm almost positive you can yeah, buy online. That, that is correct. You know, but definitely, definitely get them now <laughs> um, because people come out for the stuff. It's they always, do. It's always a good party. It's always a good party, definitely. Especially well, come on in your high fashion best for Saturday, next Saturday night, because it will be a, uh, a film about fashion and an iconic film to be back. And what I like about the, our opening nights, you know, we don't always have a, a, the opportunity here in Hawaii to dress up mm -hmm. and, and just come and mm -hmm. mingle with your peers. And this is the time and place to do it. And also, I want to, again, if you missed our first segment, is thank our, the Honolulu African American Film Festival Committee. Absolutely. And uh, again, oh, we have yes. Tadia Rice, Daphne Barbie Wooten, Marsha McFadden, uh, Sandra Sims and our new member Akimi Glenn and a shout goes out to Taylor Chang and yep. her crew there we always they, they're so wonderful to work with yeah, I mean, Taylor, you know, Taylor team manages team a, an amazing theater, of course she manages an amazing group of singular individuals like that's what I've been so impressed by you know my meetings mm -hmm. it's just like the degree of commitment um, to film and cultural representation you know on this board and I mean not that that's unique to ours, but I have to say, okay, you know, you just say it. I'm gonna say it, yeah. <laughs> okay. And and for and for someone like Taylor, you know, to be able to to manage these very strong personalities and true visionary folks, you know, um, it's a testament right. to the folks that are working at that museum and and the and the vision that I think the museum has for supporting everybody in the community um, on this island. I'm excited about that. So very quickly, let's just go over the films mm -hmm. and um, so we're I'm, talk I'll, about it. Want me to run down the list yeah, real quick? Yeah, run down the list So it's right good. Quick. So oh, we've got on David, yes. February 3rd, the 6th and the 7th. The 3rd is the opening night. We have the Gospel According to Andre. Um, on February 4th and 7th, we have Boom For Real, which is the documentary about the young Michel Basquiat, Jean-Michel Basquiat. On February 4th and 5th, we've got the documentary about Anita Hill. And we didn't get to talk about this a lot, but that's what the internet is for. We've also got Mudbound running on the 8th and the 10th. So for our first leg of our sort of three-part um, celebration of African-American film, we have a really great suite of four films that cover a broad range of the African-American experience by male and female directors. I mean, we really tried to represent and make sure that we were not being hypocritical, that we were trying to address the fact that even within communities that were diverse and we're trying to get as many voices and stories told as we can. So we've got history, we've got art, we've got politics, we've got fashion. We're trying to do it all. Inclusiveness. Inclusiveness. That's just what it's all about. Well, I'm excited about this. And if they, again, is on Ward Avenue at the Honolulu Museum of Museum Arts Art, in the yep. Doris Theater. Doris Duke. Doris yep. Duke Theater. And this is our seventh year. And we have celebrated so many wonderful um, documentaries over the years from Nina Simone mm -hmm. to um, Nat King Cole. James Baldwin to last year. Jay Baldwin. People came Muhammad out for that. Ali. Right. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Black Lives Matter. Right. Sold out. So we're yeah. keeping it rolling. Keeping it rolling. Staying on the right. high street. Right. Indeed. This is just, and then so opening night, when you come in, they're going to have uh, photo booths. 
um, so you can, you know, style and take so the I, picture. So I mean, I got to talk to my wife about how I'm going to dress for this because you know I tend to be a little academic casual, so oh. she, I have to consult with her to see how we're going to um, arrive. Okay, everyone is welcome, no matter what. Everyone is welcome. Well, no pressure, right? Okay, no, no pressure. pressure. But we're so no happy to have you, John, on the phone. I'm glad you could join us. And David Goldberg, thank, thank you so much. You so much. It's a pleasure. And thank we you look so much. forward to seeing um, everyone out for the seventh and Honolulu African American Film Festival, February 3rd through February the 10th. Oceans of Aloha. Peace and boy. Blessings. Aloha.